Today I have made a little video on how I made these speakers. I use a program called the Basebox Pro. In this software, you need to fill the driver details and then you can design the box. But this software also gives you a visual indication of how your speaker will sound even before you've made it. And that's good. So I start by, you know, imagining how things will look after I have built this. And these are the two vents uh, that, you know, need to be made. So I draw circles for the drivers and uh, so here we go. And now I drill pilot holes. And this is a hole, this is a hole drill bit. So it creates perfect holes. Okay, um, that's the largest one that I have. So I made a few holes there. But my machine got stuck because that was battery operated. So I had to get another machine. This one is a Makita and is a very powerful machine. And as you can see, it went through. So I finished the other one as well. And while I'm at it, in fact, I thought, uh, why not make a little, a few more holes so that my jigsaw can cut the uh, holes for the for the speakers. Now for the jigsaw, I picked up a very thin blade for the jigsaw because I wanted to uh, make a round, uh, you know, uh, circular holes. This is known as a rasp. In carpentry, you use a rasp to remove all and find tune all the holes that you've done. And there you go. Now the vent pipe is in as well. I put in some glue so that the vents um, remain airtight. Then I mixed up uh, some glue into uh, sawdust. I did not have a wood filler, so I'll have to do with this. Thanks to the lockdown, I, I did as best as I could. I filled up all the holes that needed to be filled up. And then I sanded down uh, the entire box so that it could uh, look great. But as you can see, I sanded a little more than what I should have. And those are the marks that you see. <laughs> Here I made a small template so that I can, you know, um, make holes for the speaker lugs. And... Here I am soldering the speaker lug to the wire. I did not have a red wire, so I used the yellow. The yellow will be my positive and the blue is my negative. So I completed all the four lugs and I put a little uh, glue onto these as well, just to make them airtight. I now soldered the speakers and and here I align the speaker as you can see I have sanded a little more than I should have but that's all right and now I'll I've tightened up all the screws for this uh, tweeter this is what is known as a gasket so that um, 
the speaker is airtight and uh, that's what i'm putting on there and after that i solder the woofer as well yes indeed positive negative and we have this speaker and now i will make sure that this is actually aligned aligned with respect to the box so i need to keep things looking good as well so there you go perfect alignment as you can see now i'm going to be screwing it down the woofer is now installed i think i like what i have done so far what do you think and i guess you liked watching this as well thank you